uh, leveling and clearing the area to put my charcoal kiln and um, the furnace. I got a bucket of water from the stream. I already have some clay and grass in there. I got my pile of grass right here. And what I'm doing is I'm just adding the grass into the water. Coming over to here to my, uh, my clay deposit. It's got a lot of little pebbles and rocks in it, but that's okay. Dropping it in there. And then mixing it up like this. And if you want to see the clay I'm working with, it's beautiful. Almost pure clay. You could almost just cut bricks straight out of the dirt right here and use those. going to uh, make kind of a trough for my molten metal to flow down right here down the middle and my slag and everything else to flow out All right, guys, there it is, the finished <clears throat> furnace. I'm going to go ahead and start a uh, very, a very small fire inside of there. Try to get this to dry out a little bit. Just burning the cardboard out, trying to get the heat up a little bit so it'll dry. Not too much, so it won't crack. 
All right, I've been burning this fire for uh, approximately four hours now. The kiln is getting pretty, not the kiln, the uh, furnace is getting pretty dry and really not too many cracks. So uh, I'm gonna keep on burning it for a few more hours. But in the meantime, I'm making my charcoal. And if you wanna see how I make the charcoal for this furnace, you can go ahead and click on my video on my channel on uh, how I do that. All right, guys, so I went ahead and added another uh, nine or 10 inches to this up here just because I wanted it to be a little bit taller. Now it's about waist height on me. I'd say about three feet tall. And um, I already have one giant or one barrel full of uh, charcoal here underneath this tarp and I'm making another one down there. And the uh, only thing I have left to do is collect my iron ore. Collecting the iron ore. This is going to take a while. All these rocks contain iron or else they would not be sticking to this magnet. These two rocks right here both magnetic. And they have something very shiny in them. Something shiny and metallic. It looks like gold, but it's probably fool's gold. I hope you can see that on the camera. Lots of it. Whatever. I'm going to crush it up and melt it. I don't care. Even if it is gold. Those uh, sparkly rocks with all the uh, metal bits in it just basically fall apart. It's really nice. So just for fun, I got that sparkly rock crushed up. Let's run this magnet through there. It's kind of clean. See what happens. Oh yeah, it's picking up a lot. Well, whatever. That rock has a lot of iron in it, that's for sure, dang. Man, this stuff is hard as a rock. So it's been under blasting heat for about 30 minutes and my coals are running down, so it's time to pull them out. All right there in the front, it's not a hot coal, that's a rock. That right here is a red hot rock and that's how I want them to be. So if they get red hot, that means they're going to be easy to break. Just to give them a shock and hopefully crack them a little more before I hit them with the hammer. Woo. 
All right, there it is, fresh out of the furnace, still piping hot, and it's a lot more brittle. And uh, some of those big pieces I put in there have broken into several small pieces. All right. Ugh. Well, I think it uh, mostly worked. Dump her out. And see. All right, guys, here's all the different grades of ore that I have, and this is what I'm going to be using in my test run. It's all extremely low grade. It's not, um, it's definitely not magnetite. It's definitely not pure hematite. It's just some bullcrap rocks I found in my stream that had a little bit of magnetic pull. But uh, this is what I'm going to be using. That's the stuff that came out with a magnet really easily. That's probably my best grade. I'm going to be using that first after I run the furnace for about 45 minutes to heat it up. Um, I want to use that first to kind of start the bloom out. Then I'm going to move to this ore, which is the most magnetic rock crushed up. Then I'm going to move this ore, which is that rock powderized, but then also a lot of magnet or a lot of uh, iron removed with the magnet. Then I'm going to move to this, which is powderized, that rock, um, and this rock was that big boulder, that big like 30 pound, um, slightly, slightly magnetic rock, and uh, that's going to be my worst ore. I'm going to put that in at the very end of the test and um, just see what happens to it. Um, I'm hoping that I already have kind of a, um, a bloom of iron formed before I put that in there. That way, that doesn't really contaminate my, my bloom too much. Anyway, so yeah, I've probably got about 50 pounds total. Uh, this, this ore plus that ore is 23 pounds. And then that big boulder, which makes up these two buckets, was about 25 pounds. So let's just say 50 pounds total of ore. Let's see how much bloom I get. I've got my charcoal made, as you can see in one of my videos already. I've got my uh, furnace made, as you can see in the beginning of, the, beginning of this video. And I've got my ore. And I've got my blowers, and I got my generator on the blowers. So next video you see is going to be me refining this ore, hopefully, into a nice, I don't know, maybe five pound, six pound iron bloom. So stick around for that video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.